doing? Oh, hi. You like my hoodie? It's got a little SP404 SX on the back. I love this hoodie. I got it from No Quantize, Sarah the Ill Instrumentalist. I'm just going to say it like that. I might be wrong, but we'll have all the social medias in the description box below. You may be wondering why I am wearing something that says no quantize. No quantize is a musical term. Why would I need to know that? Because I've been doing music lately. I like to, to make that noise. I don't know why. Maybe I'll incorporate it into a song. Hmm. But anyway, my first per piece of musical equipment was, of course, the Akai Fire because I have an FL Studio. Mass P404, that's one of, that's my second piece of musical equipment. So I guess I wanted to wear it. Sometimes we want to wear weird stuff. That's me. Anyway, I made this little pom-pom. But this pom-pom right here, what, what, what? Pom pom, pom pom. Let's go and make that then. First, you're gonna need a hat. So this hat that I have, um, I made it using a pattern that I got from Little Panda Mommy. She's on Etsy, she's on Instagram, she is on Facebook, um, and Ravelry. Uh, that's where I got the crochet pattern from. And what I like about this hat is that if you look at it, it looks small, but it stretches like you wouldn't believe. And that's what I like about it. And it gives it more layers to it too, that makes it a little bit warmer than an average hat. Love this hat. So you have your hat. Next, you're gonna need some um, fabric that has like, looks like fur. So basically a fur fabric and it has backing on it. So once you have that, you're going to need on top of all that, you're gonna need your polyfill. You're gonna need a yarn needle a thread needle and some thread. Next, you're gonna need a Sharpie that will show up on the backing. I have two types of scissors here. I got this type and I got this one. Let's get started. I ended up going and grabbing a bronze Sharpie I thought that would show up better. It doesn't really matter. So I have my little noose atop, which is the perfect size for my little pom-pom. Now just trace that circle all the way around or however many can fit on your little piece of fabric. Now next we're gonna cut these out. The thing about cutting this out, there's nothing you can do about the fabric itself. Um, when you're cutting, it's going to cut some of the strands, but that's okay. You'll see what I mean later.
So at this point, when you pull them apart, you're gonna see that there's some loose strands. So you're gonna clean that up just by pulling them off the edge there. That's just from cutting it. So once you clean that up, then you'll be done. Now taking your one pom-pom, you're going to thread up your thread needle. It isn't important if you put a knot at the end, but I chose to do that here. Now we're gonna do a over under stitch in order to cinch this closed. So basically you're just sticking in over under and it's easy to do. You could just pinch it. As you can see, I'm just pinching it a little bit and folding it as I go. So you're gonna do it a little bit and you're gonna pull the thread through. So repeat that technique all the way around this little circle. So it should start looking like this. Next, you're gonna start filling it with polyfill just to plump it up a little bit. Keep an eye on your thread end, make sure it doesn't go all the way through. You might need to pull the thread out a little bit to tighten it up. This is gonna give your pom-pom its shape. At this point, you're gonna be cinching as much as you can. You can tie a knot sometime in that duration of cinching if you want to. And keep stuffing. At this point, you can start to see the shape of it you can grab your scissors to shape it up a little bit more. So now you can continue doing that over under stitch to cinch it up a little bit more.
to tie another knot, giving it a little bit more cinch. It doesn't need to be completely closed. So the part we've all been waiting for, let's sew this pom-pom onto our hat. There's no special technique that I can give you as to how to sew this on, but sewing on as tightly as possible, going from one side to the other side is the easiest way I can tell you. Um, just making sure that all the ends are inside the hat and making sure that it's tight on there, but not, not tight enough to break your thread. So that's about all I can tell you, but just sew it onto the hat however we want to. You can use yarn or you can use thread. I decided to just use the same thread that I was sewing the pom-pom closed with. Try your best not to sew any of the strands down, the strands of the fur down, because it start to look a little matted after a while. So try to keep the strands free of the thread. So there you have it. You have a pom-pom on your hat. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment as everybody on YouTube says for some reason, but that'd be awesome if you could do that for me. Love you guys. See you in the next video. But this pom-pom right here, what, what, what? Pom-pom, 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 pom, chicka pom-pom, pom-pom.